You may have heard or even said the phrase, if you buy that, I've got a bridge to sell you. But why? What do bridges have to do with believing unlikely stories? To answer that question, I'd like to introduce George C. Parker, considered by some to be the most successful con man of his time. His grift was fairly simple on the surface. Smooth talk is marks into investing in property he didn't own. It's unknown exactly when Parker started his scam, but it was likely sometime in the 1880s, and he kept versions of the con going until the 1920s. He operated out of Brooklyn in New York. Parker would bribe ferry workers, bringing immigrants in from Ellis Island, to inform him if they saw anyone who... Hang on, I have to use the old-timey voice for this one. Had a crowded ocus. That basically means they looked like they had a lot of money. Parker thought that newly arrived immigrants would make perfect marks, as many were looking for business opportunities and didn't yet have the lay of the land. Once a mark was found, he'd bump into them and strike up a conversation about a new law that would allow people to invest in the Brooklyn Bridge and set up tolls to quickly rake in profits. After a victim was sufficiently charmed, they'd be taken to an office he'd set up nearby and presented with forged documents. Parker charged different amounts based on how much money he thought he could get out of the victims, but the average was allegedly about $5,000. Depending on the specific year the scam was pulled, that's between around $150,000 and $160,000 when adjusted for inflation. Of course, the Brooklyn Bridge was and is owned by the city of New York. Some of Parker's marks didn't even realize they'd been tricked until they tried to set up their own toll booths and were stopped by police. But Parker wasn't satisfied with selling the Brooklyn Bridge. He'd basically sell any property he could find, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Grant's Tomb, Madison Square Garden, and even the Statue of Liberty. He was caught and imprisoned several times, but couldn't help but go back to running cons. That is, until his final arrest in 1928 for trying to cash a fraudulent check for $150. This was his fourth fraud conviction, and under New York law at the time, this led to a lifetime sentence in Sing Sing Prison. While Parker isn't the only person who committed the bridge-selling scam, he was arguably the most famous. So the phrase, I've got a bridge to sell you, became part of American parlance because of George C. Parker's scam. Okay, I know this is an old meme, but this idea came to me at the last minute. No bridges?